Hello people, welcome to Wigan, up here in Lancashire. It's a nice day, it's September, and I've been asked to tell you a little bit about multimeters. Now I know I've covered this subject before, but apparently I didn't explain it well enough for one of the guys on the site who, who wants to know more about them. So I'll do my best. Now if you're an electrician, you might as well go and read a book or something, because um, I'm going to tell you all there is that's practical on here, right? You've got all these, you know, you can spend all day going clickety 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 click. And what were they? Nothing. There's three. There's, there's, for a plumber's use, for a plumber's use, I know that somebody will argue and say, well, there is uses for this. The problem is, but from a plumber's point of view, there's three positions on there that's any good to anyway. And I'll show you what they are. Okay, so before we get on about multimeters, uh, here's another little test that you can that you can use at home that you don't need to be an expert at. Uh, this is a pretty handy thing to have. It's called a ring main a ring main tester. So you stick that in in your ring main, and it'll tell you if it's wired right or not. And as you can see there, the two outside lights have lit up, so that says it's correct. If all three light up, it means uh, you've got a bad earth. If these two light up, it means you're live and you're neutral or reversed. And if that end one lights up on its own, it means there's a fault on the earth. So it's a nice little simple test. You, can, you don't have to be an electrician to, to use one of them. You can put it in your plugs in the house. And it tells you if they're right or they're wrong. It's a good thing to have if you're putting an extension on from somewhere to somewhere else and it's just a nice little test. Okay so here's our multimeter. Now we're going to measure the, the, vol the, the voltage in this here. Right now this this is something else that I always have in my pocket when I'm going anywhere with the, anywhere with the electric. It's a volt stick and you don't know any of voltage and it glows red. But it won't tell you how many volts there is there. Right, so um, that's why you need a multimeter. Because that could be 12 volts, it could be 240. So, on our multimeter we go to the AC side. Now the AC is that V squiddle. That tells you the volts and it's squiddle, it's AC. On the other side is V and a couple of dots and a line over the top. And that means it's DC. It's, it's all in confusion. You see, they, they won't put AC on there because they don't want you to know, I think. Anyway, let's measure it, shall we? We'll put that over to 600, and that would measure up to 600 volts. Now, I know there's not 600 volts in here, there's 250, or thereabouts. So, 248, 250. And you can see that, 247. So that's how many volts there is in that AC circuit. Now if I put it over to the other side, I can measure how many volts there is in this little battery. It's the same thing, with it. you put the minus, you put the black on a minus and the red on a plus, and that will tell me that. Oh, that's too high, see. I'm too high there. Let's put it down to the low one. And that tells me there's 1.2 volts in that battery. So, that's DC, that's AC, measuring volts. The other thing, there's only three uh, options, not options, there's three clicks on there that a plumber needs to know. And it, the, the next one is resistance. And when it stops flashing, so on resistance, if you put both them together, it'll go to nothing. And that's telling you that that is um, a full circuit. So with that, you could measure the wire. You could, if, if something wasn't working and you suspected that the wire was broke, you could put that on one side of the wire, that on the other side of the wire. And if you don't get a reading, then that wire is broken. That's why that appliance is not working. Because if it goes anywhere near, 
you get a reading and that's resistance and resistance is you can measure resistance and speakers and all sorts of electric things but it's a lot of bollocks as far as we're concerned those are the three things we need to know and apart from that you can put that in your toolbox put it in your top pocket and swank about you know walk into the house you got one of them in your pocket it looks impressive and that's all it is right I hope that's took the mystery out of multimeters.